Alright guys, how's it going? So when I made the space station render, the first comment I received, I should have predicted it, was how did you make the pipes? <laughs> and you know me, I'm a stickler for an add-on. So this is Piperator, it's available for free, I'll put the link in the description down below. It's a very basic add-on, but it's pretty cool. So we'll quickly jump into Blender, and we'll take a quick look. And we'll spin the default cube of mystery. Ooh. Now you install the add-on, just like any other add-on. If you press N to bring up the properties, you can see it here, Piperator. And very basic options, to be honest. Now if I press Z and go into wireframe mode, I don't have enough topology for the script to work accurately. So what I'm going to do here is I'll just quickly tab into edit mode and I'll do a quick subdivision. So number of cuts, five, that'll be perfect. Tab back out and we'll go into solid. And all we do is make sure we have the object selected and add pipes. So you can see straight off the bat, it generated two different pipes. Now we have different mesh modes. We have pipe mesh, which is technically topology. We have a simple wire, which might come in handy at some point. You never know. We also have the skin modifier, and that's one I recommend. It generally gives the best results. And we have polycurve. So like I mentioned, skin modifier is the best. So we have flange probability. Hey, And this is technically classed as a flange. So if I put this down to 0, 0.0, it'll disable the flanges. I've never said that in my life before. <laughs> So we have a support period, so this is technically a support beam. So again, if I put this down to zero, it'll get rid of all the supports. Now I'm actually going to drop the radius of the pipe, so I'm going to make it something like 0.02. That seems to fit a lot bit better. Now material slot index, don't generally need that. Resolution is set at 10, and that's probably the best resolution. You can move it up and down, but the default seems to be the best. And offset will actually offset the pipe. This is generally at 0.11. And we have the layer number. Now we can go to a maximum of five. I'll leave that in default. Sometimes I like to play around with the random seed. That gives sometimes better results. And number of pipes. Generally try and keep this as low as possible. 50 kind of starts to crunch Blender a little bit. So I'll make it 25. And we get something like this. Pretty damn cool to be honest. And that is pretty much the pipe add-on. Now I'll put the flange probably back up to 0.3. That'll give me a couple of flanges. If I want supports, I can put the supports up, but generally I'll leave that off. And that's how you make pipes. Now the developer's actually made a few changes, and he's made it so it can go from vertex maps, so you can actually go from hot to cold, and it'll follow the vertex map, so check that out. It's on the guy's website. And that's pretty much the Piperator. Cool name, by the way. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. I've got a couple of mates now. Thank you.